Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm the host of this channel, and you might say the chief of this tribe. This is not like most of the YouTube channels you go to. I am not here to tell you where to invest your money and to make a lot of money. What I'm here to do is to share my knowledge with you and my research with you, and then to solicit your help in us, us, and when I say us, I mean the tribe of people who are trying to make good investment decisions and come out as winners in this game that we are playing against professionals called Wall Street, hedge funds, ETFs, mutual funds, who are trying to beat us at the game. So I choose to play a different game, and that is long-term investing based on events that happen in our world that change our world. As an example, the coronavirus changed our world. As an example, World War II changed our world. As an example, us coming off the gold standard changed our world. And as we see these events, the digital revolution, uh, the EV revolution, and now the, hair, the healthcare revolution, we need to position ourselves so, such that we can profit. How do we do that? We recognize who is going to facilitate the change before Wall Street figures it out. That's what we've done. That's what I'm trying to do. I do a lot of reading in an effort to find these companies that are going to change the world that we live in. I want to show you this slide here. It's what I call our discovery process. I'm going to give you just a short look at it because on the other side of this disclaimer here, I want to go into detail and share with you where we're going. I'll be right back. Best of Us Investors presents Carrie Griegmeier. Okay, let's take a deeper look into the discovery process, if you will, from the best of us investors and our tribe. Basically, the first element of it came forward, I would say, about a year ago as I got interested in genome sequencing and genome therapy. And I read a lot of books. I read Lifespan, I read Crack in Creation, I read the Code Breaker, and as a result of what I learned there, I learned that the coronavirus was going to push forward this technology of genome sequencing and genome therapy, and I needed to own a series of stocks. And I'm showing you here, as you look at the chart, CRISPR, Caribou, Editus, Nutella, um, a AADI, Beam, uh, Pacific Biosciences, and uh, Illumina. And as you can see, most of them I am down on. Why is that? And why am I okay with that? Because this is technology that is bigger, as uh, Walter Isaacson says in The Code Breaker, than the digital revolution. Well, what's the digital revolution? I did a video on that, and I showed you that the digital revolution grew uh, at 1,100%, and that Walter Isaacson says this is 10 times bigger than the digital revolution. So I'm comfortable owning the stocks that are the Amazons and the Googles and the Apples and the NVIDIAs and the Teslas of tomorrow. I'm okay being down, uh, what is it, 40, 51% on Editus because I know George Church is a major holder of Editus and I know George Church is one of the smartest people in, in, in the world. I also know that Jennifer Doudna owns a major part of Caribou and even though I'm down 24%, once that technology comes to fruition, I'm going to be up the 500%. I know that because I've seen it happen before. I saw it happen with Amazon. I saw it happen 
with Google and Facebook. So I know it's going to happen. Now, what as a result of this, our tribe, our group of people who meet at our Discord have had some in-house discoveries. Gabe, a member of our tribe, brought us information on a lawsuit relative to Google uh, being sued by Netlist. Yes, Netlist. <laughs> Those of you who know the joke. Um, and so the power of the tribe, and then in the tribe, we have Nick, who is a, a lawyer. He's helped us examine the documents of this trial, and we believe we're going to have a huge upturn. I'm currently up 76% on it. I expect that to be just the beginning, and I expect it could happen as quick as the middle of January, and then go beyond there, because it's a cut and dry case that Google stole their information. Now, also from the tribe, Jacob brought a, up to our attention a company by the name of uh, Cavanus Sciences as a result of a finding just today, it's up 20% in one day. Now, I didn't discover this. Jacob discovered this. Jacob told me about it. I did a video on it yesterday, and it came out, and I notified the my members of my tribe when I was buying yesterday, so they're all up 20%. Can you see? I'm not competing with Wall Street, I have a team. Compare me to Kathy Woods. I don't have a, a uh, team of uh, university graduates who do my, uh, my analysis work. I have a group of people, roughly 2,000 of them, who are people like you and I who take information and share it and we make good decisions. Okay, the next area that I want to be involved in is I'm reading a book, and I want you to see it's called The Age of AI. It has woken me up to the powers of AI and what is going to happen in the medical field very shortly. It's being driven by a company that we all know. It's called Google, and Google owns an a London-based company by the name of Deep Minds. In 2017, Deep Minds developed a algorithm called Alpha One. It is an uh, algorithm to play chess. Now there are all kinds of algorithms that play chess, and they are they have been de derived as a result of feeding this computer program, this AI, the best moves of the best chess players to create a, a online um, chess game that you and I could play chess against. Well, Alpha One, Google Deep Minds, did it differently. They just gave it the rule book and said, here, go play chess for four hours and learn how to play chess through artificial intelligence and machine learning. And that was done in 2017. And Alpha One has yet to be beat by any other computer program or any human being. Now, they took that same data, that same algorithm, and they applied it to what they call AlphaFold. AlphaFold is AI, artificial intelligence, used to to uh, in the prediction of protein structure. Our body is made up of 20,000 proteins. Think of it as space. And, and these proteins are the planets in space. Each one is it different. And let's assume that one of these proteins has a problem and it's, and it's been invaded by a virus called corona, coronavirus. That's a good name trot for it. Well, this then that protein is a three-dimensional object. You've seen it. It's a little space ball with, pro with probes sticking out. In order to, to attack and target that protein, you have to figure out what proteins in the body or outside the body have the capability to go kill 
that coronavirus. And you have to be able to figure out how to one a three-dimensional object to interact with another three-dimensional object. That's what Alpha One has done. Excuse me, Alpha Fold has done. Before Alpha Fold, the science community knew how to structure 17 percent of the 20,000 proteins that are in our body. It took them roughly 50 years to come up with that 17 percent. As a result of alpha-1, we now have the structure of 98.5 percent of the proteins in our body. The proteins are everything from our fingernails to our hair, to our blood, to, to whatever. It's all made up of proteins, which are then made up of enzymes, which are then made up of whatever. And it's a very complicated process. So science over the last 50 years has been able to structure 17% within that as a result of um, alpha fold, as I said, we now have the structure of 98%. It's a new kind of, and it's done through a new kind of transformer for 3B structures, which, uh, which uh, uh, deep minds created. So the beauty of all this is that Google, deep minds, has basically said this is open source AI. It's available to any developer who wants to work on it and, and better on it. As a result of that, George Church, remember George Church? He, I, I've mentioned this name before. For those of you who have been with me, he's a Harvard professor and one of the founders of Editus. George Church has improved upon that program because, as I said, it's an open source program. So before uh, AlphaFold, we had the ability to identify and work with 180,000 identified proteins. Now, as a result of uh, AlphaFold, we now have the availability to work on over 100 million proteins. To give you some reference of what that means, University of Colorado had been working for years to find a, to solve a problem, a medical problem. Once they accessed AlphaFold through the open source, they solved their problem in 15 minutes. That's in my research. I want to give you access to my research. So the question is, who is going to monetize this alpha fold technology and protein sequencing? That's what you and I have to figure out before Wall Street does. Well, how do we do that? We put our minds together. I've identified four stocks that are, I believe are going to benefit from this technology. Certainly the first one is very obvious. It's Google. It's Google. I own Google. So then the second one is Abcelera, A-B-C-L. It is a stock, a company that just came into being in, I believe it was in 2019, as a direct result, I believe, of the uh, alpha fold open source technology, and it has contracts with over 20 pharmaceutical companies to assist them in their research to find antibodies for diseases and for illnesses. And I believe that alpha ABCL is a leader in this. Another one is Schroeder SGDR. They also have openly said that is part of what they are doing. I've identified those two. Then I have another stock that I hold, which is called Quantum Psi, QSI, that basically is the doing the sequencing, much like we do genome sequencing, is doing protein sequencing, which will then benefit from the alpha fold and accelerate the finding of 
the cures for the diseases that hurt us, that make us sick, that kill us. Okay? So, what do I want to do? I want to open source, okay? I've done 21 pages of research on this. That's how I've gotten to where I am right now. But I want to open source that. I want to give you those 21 pages of my research, and which includes numerous articles, uh, the background on the companies I've just mentioned, as well as YouTube videos that will give you a knowledge base for you then to go deeper into this, put your mind on it, much as I have put my mind on it. And I should say, I did not find Abcellera. Abcellera was found by Drew, a member of, a major member of our tribe. That's how we go. That's how we grow. And I'm inviting you, as of today, to become a part of it. I'm going to take my 21 pages of research, and I'm going to put it on my Discord. And it's going to be open and available to anybody who wants to come. You don't need to pay. You don't need to pay and come join us on our meetings when we discuss this on Zoom calls. You don't need to be a part of that. Just come to bestofusinvestors.com. Give me your email address and your um, name, and I'll send you a link. And please come get my 21 pages of research and then come back and say, hey, I think I found another company who is going to take the AlphaFold to open source technology and change the, where, the world that we live in. That's my invitation to you. Much as DeepMind's, Google's invitation to the world was, come take what we've done, take what we've learned and build on it and help us change the medical profession, the medical world, the healthcare world as we know it. Folks, between this and genome sequencing, I think you're going to add at least five years to your life expectancy. Every year that this goes on, you'll probably add another year to your life expectancy. So to sit here and say, I might live till I'm 150 years old is totally possible, okay? Come join us. Come be a part of the tribe. And, and, it, and I need to share with you. I, I wrote this book in collaboration with Colin George. How did that happen? Colin is a member of the tribe. He said to me, Carrie, you've put out a lot of information. Let me put it in the form of a book and let's share it so that p other people can see what we're talking about and how we can duplicate, in essence, what Kathy Woods has done, in essence, what BlackRock has done. And that is take our cumulative knowledge, digest it, regurgitate it, and benefit from it. So this is in the, the uh, description, one of the books, if this, whole concept intrigues you, come be a part of it and read the book and, and understand, understand what's happening here. Uh, you used to have to go through world, the world on your own, but as a result of the digital revolution, you can put your mind to work with other minds and grow into being a, a machine of good knowledge. I just shared with you a revolution in stock purchasing. I hope you grasp it. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. No, I'm probably not going to have much to say of new until after Christmas. So have a Merry Christmas and we'll talk again before the new year, I'm sure. <laughs>